A Queensland grandfather who found a message in a bottle 60 years ago has tracked down the message writer. The mystery finally was solved thanks to some modern detective work. Two strangers brought together by a piece of history. Hello. Lindy. Yes. Hi, yes, I'm yes. Lindy. I am Jack Howlett. I'm the fellow Hello, who... Hello, Jack. I'm the fellow who found uh, your father's notes on the beach. It was the a young Jack Howlett was on a fishing trip at Queensland's pristine Fraser Island almost 60 years ago when he uncovered something special. Saw this bottle down on the beach and uh, went and picked it up and realised it had a message in it. Thrown overboard by Mr and Mrs Robert Hare and son Billy, 11th of the 9th. 35. Written on the back of a ship's menu, it reveals the Hare family had been on board MV Wanganella between Sydney and Auckland in 1935. That's more than 20 years before Jack Howlett found it. The message requested the finder to write back, which he did, but he never got a reply. Put it away in a cupboard, uh, forgot about it fairly promptly. Until last week when his son put the call out on social media. I searched uh, up the name of the ship, I searched the name of the shipping company, uh, I searched the, uh, the people's names that were in the, the night once we could read them. This time the call out was heard by Lindy Hare, Billy's daughter in Melbourne. When I was tagged in the Facebook post on the ABC post, uh, I wrote a note saying I'd love to, to get in touch with the family and I put my phone number there and then um, Kent rang me. Lindy searched the family scrapbook, finding a photo of her dad on that voyage. And I felt really sad because um, dad's not around anymore and he would have loved it because he was, um, you know, he loved that kind of thing. The information went from us to Western Australia, to Melbourne, to London, to all over the world. Uh, in looking for these people in, in such short notice. It was incredible. And as for the two families meeting, well, Lindy does often come to the Sunshine State and says that she is happy to catch up and reminisce. The families are also in talks to donate the message and their story to a maritime museum. Isabel Rowe, ABC News.